All right, round two, back to Kara Blaster, and this time we're gonna beat the stupid boss. Because I have one more heart, which obviously will make all of the difference. All right, I should probably just start on the other side. There we go. My main problem with this boss has been getting some room to work with, so. Yeah, getting across him from up top seems to be the best option by far. So I'm not sure if I even want to be underwater when he's in this form, or phase, or whatever. No! Yeah, this seems safer. It seems a lot safer up here. No, get down! Frick. I do like how fast the weapon swap is. It's nice and effortless. It looks like we're gonna get six weapons, maybe? Excuse me. Maybe five. What's this? Jetpack! I guess that's not a new weapon. You can now double jump, explore higher, and travel further than ever, ever before. Let me guess, we have to use it to open that gate, or to get through that. Why are there frog corpses everywhere? Is, how many freaking custodial sciences people have we had b before me? Wait, how? If the teleporter thing is, like, infected, how do they teleport me in, though? Is she dead? The thing is broke out of its cage. It's, like, huge. Oh. Um. Are we not going to talk about this? What? Something wrong with the president? Yeah, she's, like, bloated and dead. I mean, that might be a problem. All right, I'll go check it out. Not sure what to say. I don't know what I can do to help. We still have our quota left, so let's just handle that for now. Only one more place left. Okay. Last spot is White Laboratories. Huh. White Laboratories, is it all white? At this point, no idea. But he'll be able to handle it. Huh? Well, probably. <laughs> they have so much confidence in me. <laughs> the places you spawn in are all glitch- Ow! They're all glitchy. Don't freaking shoot lasers at me. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Mr. Mole! Uh, boss fight? Okay. We're coming hard and fast with these boss fights now, aren't we? I guess this was like they introduce you to double jump boss fight. Ooh, money. Ooh, 50. I think I see how the money works. Because like the first area, everything was one coin. Then it was 10 coins occasionally. Now it's 50 coins occasionally. So it kind of lets you grind, but only a little bit. Like you can't feasibly grind all the way to the top without progressing a certain amount. Oh, frick. I'm... <laughs> this? Whoa! Ah, oh, I keep hitting that laser every time. I think you jump up a little higher if you, um... If you go straight up instead of, uh, like a side hop. Get out of here. The signature red spiky things means death, just like in Cave Story. Don't know if there's like an instant No, because no, we touched spikes before, so they're just damage, not instant death. Still don't want to touch them, though. So you have much less health than we did in Cave Story. Why do the, why do the plants have money? Like, I'm, I'm used to, like, enemies having money, even though they're, like, just wheel people, but... But the plants? Whatever. It's fine. They, they need money for f f fertilizer and stuff. I see you, wheel. I see your trail of doom. Alright. That's all it was? Okay. Is this lava? Why are they transporting lava around? I see you. 
Give me your mons. Ooh, that's even better than mons in some ways. Well, I guess health is pretty cheap, but I have to survive to the store. Is that is that a secret? Oh no. Okay. Yeah, jumping straight up definitely goes higher. Okay, nope. I need that money. I need that money. Where'd that money go? Worth it. I really want to upgrade this wide thing. I don't think... The bubbler... I don't think... I knew it! I knew it! I don't think the bubbler needs too much attention. And I'm not sure if I can spend... I, I spent uh, 210 off-screen to get my... Uh, to get one more heart. Excuse me. What? What? Why fire? I guess that was a bomb, wasn't it? Yeah, those are bomb blocks. Okay. <laughs> he does not take damage from the bomb blocks. <gasps> oh, goodness. Okay. We're good. So defeat him first. Get out of here. Get out of here! Run. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. Bubblers, save me! They can't even really hit me, they just burn up the ground around them a lot. Okay. Performative enemies, I guess. Uh-oh. I guess they're there if you fall. Oh, frick! Speaking of falling... Oh, I was hoping that was gonna land on the platform. Oh, no. Oh, hey! One up! What's this? I think this was just a secret area. I think you're supposed to actually go down. Yeah, let's just... Excuse me. Excuse me! There we go. Oh. Second mini-boss. At least, I uh, assume you're not main boss. Because we haven't even found a store yet, so now you can't be real boss. I think I was standing on his head for a second there. Yeah, now you're definitely not real boss. Look at that HP dwindle. Bye-bye, buddy. Thanks for the muns, though. I can't quite buy that upgrade for that main weapon. I'm curious as to see... as to how that one upgrades to the max. But I also want my wide shot better. There's a song that has the same, like, baseline sort of thing in, uh, Mercenary Kings, and it keeps reminding me of it. Mercenary Kings has really good music, by the way. Lasers 500. Ooh, I can upgrade that thing to quad. How much is the next health upgrade? Oh, it's 600. Yeah, I definitely don't need that heart in a jar. It seems like a thing for like a speedrun to make sure that you know you never die, no matter what or whatever. this at um at one of the gdqs the game done quick speedrun things i'm not sure i watched it though because it doesn't seem that familiar i don't think i watched it i tried to avoid games i haven't played in in speedrun things partly because you know spoilers and just because i think you enjoy it a bit less when you have no idea i mean not always i mean some games are really cool um, to see even if you haven't played them, but it can be helpful to be like, oh, so, you know, that's really impressive because, you know, that area was really hard or whatever, or, you know, that area, like, he did not play that the way you're supposed to do that at all. But some games are really cool to see, like, um, in the, uh, in the indie and bad games segments, there's usually some stuff I've never heard of. The like the awful games done quick. Like I've usually never played any of those, but those are still really funny to watch usually. But I think they pick those pretty specifically to be entertaining, but not like obviously not good since the point is to be not good. And some of the indie stuff is stuff that even I haven't heard of. I usually don't play indie stuff that is like 
speedrun friendly stuff, because that's not really usually my deal. I say as I'm going to play a speedrun of Bunny Must Die tonight, but that's that's a special case. And by tonight, I mean the day I'm recording this tonight, not like the day you watch this. I might be playing Bunny Must Die when you watch this, but maybe not. I really enjoy Bunny Must Die and speedrunning Bunny Must Die, but I don't really have the time to do speedrun stuff any more often than I do, which is almost never, so yeah. Uh, wait, why did I do that? Why do I need this? I don't think I need this. I don't think this was a good idea at all. Ow. Yeah, I don't think that was... I don't... I don't know why I did that. That was not particularly bright. I just assumed it would be necessary. I mean, there was a thing. I had to do the thing. I mean, why would there be a thing if you weren't supposed to do it? Honestly. This one kind of sucks when you point straight up. I guess I don't really do that super often, so it's not... I mean, it is a... it is wide! But... I guess this thing is now my best shoot-up gun. Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> no, my precious months! Whatever. Whoa! you got give Whoa. wow you had a lot of HP wait that's a one-up that's a one-up hang on what there's a one-up there how do I get it <gasps> no that's not how you get it <sighs> bubbles please show me the secrets Wait, what do you mean? Maybe we get it on the next screen. Oh yeah, here we go. No? No? Oh, okay, oh! Oh, it was the boss! How dare you lie to me! The game lied to me about it being health, or a 1-up, but it was boss. Ow! It was the exact opposite of 1-up. Frick. I can't believe it. A Jake one up. Or maybe there's just some really secret way to get that. Whoa! Okay. They're really freaking hard to dodge in the air, so. Whoa. Ow! I freaking got hurt because of the screen scrolling. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Whoa. What do you mean? Okay, okay. I thought I was gonna get hurt for touching it, and that would have been very rude. <gasps> Whoa. Is that thing's fuel lava? Apparently it was, because I got a fire weapon from it. Fire! So I'm strong against cold element enemies and enemy projectiles. Let me guess, we're going to a cold place then, because we haven't even found any enemies that would really describe as cold so far. I wonder. Can I get that one up now? Oh, it wasn't a jeep! It was a, hey, you'll probably forget this by the time you've done, you've fought that boss, huh? Kind of thing. I see your tricks. I see your secrets. Can't lie to me. They look like tadpole eggs, the little bubbles. Um. That looks bad. But... We're at the 15 minute mark, so I guess once we go home, we'll, uh, we'll call it a thing. A video. Uh-oh. What do you mean? Oh, no! What are you? Oh, I don't like this. Oh. Are we safe? Oh, that doesn't look safe. Ow. <laughs> My leg! My leg! What? Tenekawa Hospital. Yay, you woke up! He looks unarmed, at least. Also, the transporter must have went haywire because those black things. Black things? Yeah, 
I'm sure you spot them around, but they're basically Negativus Legatia. Ah oh, yes, Negativus Legatia. I'm very familiar with this. What in the, what in the world are Negativus Legatia? Um, you go the pieces of your past that have been cast off. Oh, we're going for the deep meta narrative, are we? I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what they're, you know. Whatevs, whatevs. We're gonna do, do something about these things. Looked at these things are coming from the broken server on Hikinishi Plateau. Fix that server, maybe we can eradicate these pests. But isn't the transport device broken? We can send them to the base of the plateau just by connecting manually. Here's something for you to wear. Oh, I'm not naked anymore! It's, <laughs> my jacket will absorb bullets, but only one. Plus it's warm and quite dapper. Delightful. Don't overdo it! Don't tell me how to live my life, pink blob. Once the server's back online, we'll call you. I'm pretty sure there's still a phone there. I like the confidence of the cat creature. It's like, yeah, probably. Hey. Isn't that weird pet of the president's another one of those black things we're talking about? Yeah, that's right. Well, what are you going to do about that? We're just going to have to take care of that one ourselves. I got to help too? <laughs> Say we take care of it. It would mean less headaches for us. And we might even get less overtime. Let's do this! Next time, we'll check out Hekishi Plateau.